Just one year ago, Northeast Ohio got hit with a huge snowstorm. More than one foot of snow covered most areas, and driving was almost impossible. Meantime, in Ashtabula at this time last year, they had more than 25 inches of snow. So today, many of us celebrated the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday and the weather cooperated with all the festivities around town. But a year ago, many of them had to be canceled because of that weather. It was a snowstorm that no one was ready for. On a holiday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, exactly 12 months ago, the snowstorm left the city of Cleveland paralyzed. Victor Rosa remembers that day well. This is Barbara Avenue before and today. I didn't see not one truck from the city here in the area. It was very poor service. For at least two weeks, this part of town never saw a snowplow. While Cleveland's new mayor acknowledged there was a problem. I heard your comments, your concerns, and your frustrations. Recently, Justin Bibb said to our Russ Mitchell. That first snow storm we experienced in January, we had two back-to-back -back snowstorms yeah. with uh, nearly 15 inches of snow. So far this year, the city has not been tested. Only 9.2 inches of snow has fallen. The average is 26.2. And for the month of January, we have been nine degrees above average. Even so, according to Bibb, history will not repeat itself under his watch. And I think uh, those snowstorms really laid bare the work we had to do uh, throughout my tenure as mayor uh, of really modernizing how we do the basics. The trucks now have GPS tracking and there are more on the streets. But Rosa says he's just going to wait and see and pass judgments on the city later. Hay que ver. We'll Porque have to no see. Mismo. He says this time will be trabajar. different when we haven't Porque had no a substantial nada. snowfall. Nieve, we ver. will see Entonces when the snow falls, then come back and talk to me. Talk to me, he says when the snow falls like this.